Peripheral neuropathy is a nerve condition that can cause numbness, tingling, and pain in your hands and feet, making simple tasks a challenge. Have you ever wondered if there's a connection between alcohol consumption and peripheral neuropathy? While it's clear that excessive alcohol isn't good for your health, you might be surprised to learn about its potential link to peripheral neuropathy. I'm Houston podiatrist, Dr. Andrew Schneider. I'm board certified with over 20 years of experience. Let's explore how alcohol, something frequently enjoyed in social gatherings, could potentially be linked to peripheral neuropathy, a condition that affects your nerves and can dramatically impact your quality of life. In this video, we'll unpack whether drinking can lead to this nerve condition. So if you're ready to get educated, let's dive in. But before we do, let's let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button and share on social media. This will help others find the information they need. You may be wondering how something so commonplace and enjoyed by so many can lead to such a severe health issue. Well, it's important to note that excessive alcohol consumption can have many damaging effects on the body, one of which includes the potential development of peripheral neuropathy. Yes, you heard it right, your favorite drink could be the reason behind those nerve-related problems you've been experiencing. In order to fully grasp the impact of peripheral neuropathy, it's crucial for you to understand its symptoms, common causes, and how it typically affects your body. This condition, which usually targets your feet, can cause a range of discomfort, from sharp jabbing pain to numbness. We'll discuss the potential triggers for peripheral neuropathy, which can include a number of factors from diabetes to alcohol abuse, and explore how these can lead to damage in your nerves. Here's the rundown on signs to look out for when it comes to peripheral neuropathy. This condition often starts with numbness, tingling, or prickling in your feet. These sensations can spread upwards into your ankles and into your legs. You may also experience sharp, throbbing, or burning pain, especially at night. Some people struggle with extreme sensitivity to touch and muscle weakness. These symptoms can cause difficulty walking or moving. Other symptoms to watch out for include lack of coordination, falling, and paralysis if motor nerves are affected. These symptoms can severely impact your daily life and may signal a serious health issue. Peripheral neuropathy is caused by diseases like diabetes, infections like Lyme disease, physical injury, and exposure to toxins. It occurs when your peripheral nerves, which send signals from your brain and spinal cord to the rest of your body, get damaged. This damage can lead to symptoms like muscle weakness, numbness and pain, especially in your feet. It's essential to understand that heavy drinking can seriously damage the nervous system, potentially leading to numbness and pain in the extremities. You might be surprised how alcohol affects your body, Imagine it as a poison, infiltrating your nerves and wreaking havoc on their ability to send signals. It's not something you would want happening inside you, right? Alcohol also has a knack for depleting vital nutrients that your nerves require for healthy function. Over time, this depletion can result in peripheral neuropathy. Picture yourself at a bar with friends. It's all fun and games until someone overdoes it. You've seen these people struggle with coordination, or complain about tingling hands and feet. That could be the early sign of alcohol-related nerve damage. Heavy drinking is linked to nerve damage, specifically the condition known as alcohol-induced peripheral neuropathy. You might be wondering how this happens. Well, it isn't a simple answer. It involves your nerves getting damaged by the toxic effects of the alcohol and nutritional deficiencies that are common with heavy drinkers. Alcohol-induced peripheral neuropathy is a progressive disease that affects the sensory and motor nerves. Symptoms may vary from person to person, but commonly include numbness or tingling in your feet, muscle weakness, heat intolerance, bowel or bladder problems, and even changes in blood pressure. You may not realize it, but alcohol is quite the double-edged sword. On one hand, it can make you feel social and uninhibited. On the other, it's wreaking havoc inside your body. When you consume alcohol excessively, your body struggles to absorb certain vitamins, particularly vitamin B1. This vitamin is crucial for nerve health and function. Without enough of it, your nerves start to suffer, leading to peripheral neuropathy. 
Furthermore, alcohol itself is a neurotoxin. It directly damages the nerves. As if this isn't harsh enough on its own, heavy drinkers often have poor diets, void of necessary nutrients that support nerve health. Being aware of how excessive drinking impacts our nervous system can help us make informed decisions about our consumption habits. Understanding who's at risk and how prevalent this nerve damage is can give us a clearer picture of the true impact of excessive drinking. You might think it's only heavy drinkers that are in danger, but even moderate consumption can increase your risk. Certain people are more likely to develop alcohol-related peripheral neuropathy. If you have a family history of alcoholism or nerve disease, you're already at a higher risk. Similarly, if your diet lacks certain nutrients like vitamin B1, which is depleted by alcohol, you're also more susceptible. In terms of prevalence, studies suggest that around half of long-term heavy drinkers will experience some form of neuropathy. That's not an insignificant number. There's treatment for peripheral neuropathy. First off, let's talk about medications. They can help control nerve pain associated with peripheral neuropathy. Your doctor may prescribe pain relievers or other drugs that have shown efficacy in helping to mitigate the symptoms. Physical therapy is another avenue worth considering. Working with a physical therapist can enhance coordination, prevent muscle stiffness, and improve overall mobility. It's about getting back control over your body. Equally important is psychological support that might come from counseling or support groups where you'll find others experiencing similar challenges. Their stories may inspire you. Their tips could guide you. Lastly, lifestyle changes play an integral role in managing this condition. Eating a balanced diet, maintaining a healthy weight, quitting smoking, all contribute to better health outcomes. Treating peripheral neuropathy isn't solely about medical intervention. It's also about creating an environment conducive to healing and recovery. Let's discuss prevention strategies and key takeaways that can help to improve your overall health. First, let's tackle alcohol consumption. You don't have to quit drinking altogether, but moderation is essential. By reducing your intake, you're actively protecting yourself from potential nerve damage. Now on to diet. A balanced meal plan rich in vitamins B1, B6, and E can bolster nerve health. Physical activity is another cornerstone for prevention. Regular exercise improves blood flow to peripheral ner nerves, promoting their function and regeneration. Lastly, managing underlying conditions like diabetes or autoimmune disease can prevent neuropathy progression. Regular checkups are your ally in this journey towards better health. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. If you're someone who consumes alcohol and you think it might be getting a little heavy and you're developing numbness or tingling or even pain in your feet, it's time to get it checked. Time is of the essence. Give us a call at the office and we'll get you in to make sure that the alcohol consumption is not impacting your feet in the form of peripheral neuropathy. The link to schedule an appointment is in the description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.